1998, I had a complete, absolute breakdown, and I spent four days in bed. I was asleep and semi-unconscious. When I eventually did get out of bed, had some water, went back, looked at the bedroom and couldn't believe what I could see. This absolute mess and decay of my life. Tracy Emin is a British artist known for making artworks that capture events she has experienced in her own lifetime. Since the beginning of time, women have had society dictate what they can and cannot do. These standards imposed on women bleed from society into the art realm. As an international student growing up in American schools all around the world, my standards have consistently shaped and, and been cultivated through a Western lens. The art world is a huge proponent of these standards, with some of the most renowned pieces featuring perfectly blurred and soft depictions of women. Old masters of art such as Caravaggio, Titian, and Rubin often painted works portraying a vision of soft femininity, encouraging an archaic standard that prevailed in the art world and was considered the only acceptable portrayal of women. Tracy Emin is an artist who transcends academic art's traditional bounds by presenting women as complex, multifaceted individuals with great depth and complex character. Not only are her stylistic elements vastly different from those of the great of the great Baroque mas masters, the subject matter of her work portrays fundamental themes of the female experience. Through raw and real portrayals of her own experiences, Emin uh, explores complex themes such as love, gender, and sexuality, and by doing so, she humanizes women, presenting them in a new light that contradicts the traditional damsel in distress and goddess tropes. This piece, titled My Bed, is a perfect example of her shedding light on a female experience that is often brushed under the rug. A raw depiction of human emotion by a lady, My Bed was an incredibly controversial and disputed artwork. The unrelenting realness of Emmons Bed was important as it pushed the boundaries of decency, especially for the determined roles of women. By highlighting her suffering and her vulnerability, this piece exposes the experience of anxiety and depression through a profoundly personal and intimate lens, making it much more tangible, approachable, and a real concept that not only manages to touch the audience, but punches them in the face. Emin has a very powerful intention with her artworks. However, equally as important as the actual artworks themselves is Emin's creative process. Harry Wheeler, Tracy Emin's gallery director, shares a quote that Tracy Emin once said to him when asked of what she hopes to achieve from her creative process. She said, You don't go to a fortune teller to learn something about yourself that you already know. You go to a fortune teller to learn something about yourself that you didn't know. Like Baldwin so eloquently illustrates in his own text, an artist must confront and torment themselves with the reality of life. Emin clearly shares this sentiment, and that can be seen in this piece labeled, For One Year I Wrote to You Every Day. This painting was, it was finished beforehand. It was before we got to this purple stage. It was, it was a beautiful painting and it could exist and she was happy with it. It was done, it was finished. I turned my back one, one moment. She then decided to run over to the canvas and paint it and then screamed, shouted at me, blame me because I wasn't watching her. Um, but this is how she works. She then goes over the painting and then we pull. It's, it's about pulling the painting back and putting life back into the painting. Mistakes make her paintings um, because she has to fight with them again. So this painting originally was uh, a figure sitting at a desk. So the title is, For One Year I Wrote to You Every Day. And it was a figure originally sitting at a desk. It was a beautiful painting. Um, it was sort of, you could see the sorrow within the painting and the solitude of this figure. Um, then when she painted it, and it's then fighting and throwing the purple on, all of this purple came, um, came to the forefront. They're screaming and, and, and running around the studio, grabbing buckets of water, pulling the paint off because she didn't want to put that on, uh, moving it around. Um, Another example of Emin's rebellion can be seen in a bronze sculpture titled, There Was So Much More of Me. Though visually this appears to be a pose of supplication, there is more to this piece than submission and vulnerability. The nature of the pose and what it connotes juxtaposes the industrial material used to create it. This juxtaposition characterizes the sculpture as bold, strong, and defiant as opposed to vulnerable and submissive, creating a narrative that depicts the ferocity and intense nature of female sexuality. As we go through life, women find power in their vulnerability, and embracing it, they find liberation. 
The term femininity can be incredibly one-dimensional and limiting. Tracy Evan recognizes the need for a change in the definition and the superficial bias upon which it is defined. She pushes the boundaries of decency and invites a new lens through which to view femininity. By doing so, Evan makes the authentic female experience tangible and real, proving to her audience that there is so much more to the depiction of a female than the traditional archetypes. Evan is unapologetic about her omission and instead is blatant with her infuriation. She is ready for a change.